Hi, I'm Lindsay and this is Carla and this is your weekly news update from openmedia.ca. This week's theme, a healthy dose of competition. When we last updated you, the CRTC had just come out with their landmark UV decision. Since then, we've been celebrating the step forward Canadians have taken. We've also been working hard to analyze the new policy and to plan our strategy to address the areas where it falls short. And in other competition-related news, we have a Stop Online Spying update. Uh, well, we've written in the past that the online spying bills will hit Canadians in our wallets, but we've learned a little bit more about how it will hurt competition as well. Indie ISPs have come out against online spying, saying that the new infrastructure that it would necessitate won't be affordable in the short term, and operating costs and network maintenance won't be affordable for them in the long term. In short, the online spying bills could kill the already meager amount of choice in the internet service market, and that's something that we as Canadians need to stand against. In other um, stop online spying news, University of Victoria surveillance expert Christopher Parsons wrote a blog debunking Tape's declaration that the online spying agenda is on par with the phone book. Um, in reality, the online spying legislation would be a non-presidential expansion of state surveillance powers and it really is a huge threat to Canadian civil liberties and to the open internet. In addition to that, international pro-internet organization, the Electronic Frontier Foundation, has come out with another article in support of the Stop Online Spying campaign, reinforcing their support and bringing the issue to an even wider pro-internet community. And that's all for this week. Continue to spread the word about the, op the petition at stopspying.ca and stay informed. For the internet, this is Lindsay and Carla signing off. <laughs>